extent has Vladimir Putin been weakened by recent events? It's hard to tell, but he's, he's clearly losing the war in Iraq. He's losing the war at home. <laughs> Meaning our economy's failing. <laughs> and he claimed the economy's doing great, but the numbers, they tell a different story. Biden falsely claimed to have created over 13 million new jobs. The real number is less than 4 million. He bragged about 10 million new businesses, but left out the fact that there's 10 million open jobs that employers can't fill. And what about wages? When you account for inflation, well, they're up a mere 0.2 percent from last year. And as the Fed continue to raise rates to combat Biden's inflation, well, the cost of everything from mortgages, car loans, credit cards has spiked. No wonder. Many Americans now living almost 60 percent paycheck to paycheck. And the average American now owes over $54,000. How do you pay that back? Here with uh, is the looking because I, I can list the part that's not working. I tell you what's really revving up uh, the re repo man. I'm not, I'm, I'm, they can't. They can't hire enough. They really can't. They cannot hire enough. That's the fastest-growing industry in this country. You know, here's the thing, President. Better Biden, not, I'm buying a 